Hello everyone, Mila here, and welcome back to Pokemon Shining Pearl. Last time we beat the third gym leader, then Lucas here got his Pokedex stolen by Team Galactic, and we've got to get it back, so let's do that now. Hey, Mila, listen, I need your help. I dropped my Pokedex by accident, and Team Galactic found it. Now they won't give it back. Please, I need you to help me. Will you team up with me to take them on? Of course I will. You and your Pokémon together with me and my Pokémon. Our dream team's not going to lose. Not with the way we work together. I'm not letting those criminals get away with this. You know, you could have just done a battle by yourself. I've done plenty of double battles. Why can't you? Alright, you to fly in Dust Axe. Nothing unusual. You have a Clefairy. Well, there's your problem. Try using something better. Yeah, of course, use Bug on Psychic. Well, that was one grass move, but it was Mega Drain. Alright. Alright, Girl Gunk. Alakazam seems like it wants to be petted. I guess the Alakazam just really likes me. That's what's going on here. It'd be weird just petting an Alakazam, but that <laughs> doesn't sound right. <laughs> I mean, I know they're essentially all animals, Pokémon, but... They've got regular animals around, too. I mean, what do, what do they eat in the Pokémon world if not Pokémon? Unless there's regular animals around, too. That aren't Pokémon. Alright, go Alakazam! Should have used a summing voice on the trainer. The screw the rules, attack the trainer. Now you can actually apprehend the Team Galactic members for being evil if you knock them out with your Pokemon. Why don't they ever think they do that? Don't give them a chance to run away. Attack them! Duck the trainer, knock him out, turn him into the non-existent police. Although, also in Pokémon, people seem to be able to take ridiculous amounts of damage. How many times have Team Rocket been sent into the stratosphere by Pikachu, for example? Done in by two kids? This isn't right! No, it's left. I should have kept my head down and just watched our warehouse. Oh, that stinks! Our Pokémon are weak! We should get new ones from headquarters! <laughs> Who cares about some Pokédex anyways? Team Galactic is going to own all the Pokémon in the world. No, in the universe! There, take it. Take your Pokédex. How do you know there are more Pokémon out in the universe? Have you checked every single planet? Those things we had in the warehouse have already been moved to Pastoria City anyway. So we'll say you get yours, and run like the grunts we are. What's going on here? Why is Team Galactic out in the streets like they own the place? Mila, thanks, honestly. Professor Rowan ever hears that I lost my Pokedex. Oh man, that's something I don't yet that's something I do not want to think about. So, Mila, what are your plans now? I'm going off to Pastoria City. The Great Marsh there has all kinds of Pokemon. Yeah, isn't that like the Safari Zone kind of? Oh, it tells me where to go next. Oh, 
No trespassing in the Galactic Warehouse. But if I want to go in the Galactic Warehouse... Fly! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What have we here? You are so not Team Galactic, and you're a little kid to boot! Those things we made with the energy we took from the Valley Windworks are already in Pastoria City. Huh? That's not what this is about? I can't go in. Okay, fine. Off to ignore Team Galactic for now. I've been running around trying to get that egg hatched, but I haven't made any progress on that. As in, it still says it's not even close to hatching. I'm trying to get there, though. I want to know what's in the egg. I could just look up what's in the egg, of course, but what's the fun in that? Are you going to take Route 214? You're serious, aren't you? It's too badly chewed up and there's nothing to see there. Well, I guess there's that Ruined Maniac guy you can check out. That guy's been digging his way through the bedrock all by himself. Hopefully he hasn't fallen into the void underneath the bedrock. Look out! Behind you! What is it? It's a tree! It's the air! It's grass! Maybe a cloud! Well, that'd be above me. Psychic Abigail! Ghastly! Yes, I like his ammo. I'm no problem against a ghastly. Mr. Vis! Wait, isn't Mr. Vis dark? Oh, because he almost losing off. Must be sleep. Is, if it's a dark tape, that's a problem. I don't remember at all. Or is it just pure ghost? I guess there are no roll of types. Remember back in Red and Blue, everyone thought that ghosts were weak to psychic. When it was actually poison is weak to psychic, because every ghost is also a poison type. Kadabra! Alright, how about I use Gyarados for the first time? A Gyarados would be intimidating. Critical hit. Not that much damage, though. Crunch it! No magic words for you. Oxyon Gyarados leveled up. I planned to scare you, didn't go over well at all. Eh. Not so easily scared. Supposed to be like, what's that behind you? Oh, hey, Luxio is evolving finally. Get a medic trick, I think it was called. No, no. No, 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 that's not it. That's something else. Luxray, yeah. Alright, and roommate aggro. He came by and started talking to me, so I had to stop again. Let's continue then. <laughs> Which what Rock Smash I just gotta go south. Hey, there's a ruin maniac. This area seems to be very mystifying. That's the sense I get. To show, what I, to show you what I mean, I'll battle with the Pokémon I found. You can't really show me that an area is mystifying just with a Pokémon battle. People seem to think you can do anything with a Pokémon battle.
We'll fight a war and we'll just have Pokemon battles instead. We'll just be civil with Pokemon battles rather than, you know, just killing each other. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's settle our... We, we, we hate each other. Let's settle our... I meant, to, I meant to switch. Let's settle our differences with a card game. I can't pet you, Alakazam. I don't think Pokemon of me is in this game. Sorry, electric versus electric. Doesn't work. Well, I can bite you. And that does work. Geodude! Lux Ray is a bad choice for that. Grotto, however, is a great one. Of course, it has sturdy. As soon as it didn't go down immediately, it had to have sturdy. Yeah, Harden's really going to work well when you have 1 HP. I can't win with Pokemon I'm not familiar with. Yeah, knowing what Pokemon you're using is certainly helpful. I'm not a super nerd. To find my favorite Pokemon, I'll go east, west, or any which way. Not a collector. Yeah. I'd be thinking of the wrong game. Yeah, they still got that system in the game where, like, the your Pokemon, if they like you enough, they'll withstand a hit. They'll knock them out, or they'll they'll remove their own status effects if they're negative ones they get. They'll just break free of it or something. It's because they like you so much. I remember my Delphox doing that a lot. Of course I started with a Venekin back in next Y, how could I not? But they're my favorite Pokémon! At least you're using your favorites, not just whatever is the strongest. More pony toes I don't need. Grass, I can barely move. It's too tall. The encounter rate is too darn high. Oh, pseudo wood. Huh. I don't want to knock it out. Let's use a physical hit. Yeah, I wasn't planning on escaping, so yeah, that's just fine. 
waste your time. I can't fit you, Alakazam. Stop asking. Oh, come on. You know, I'm still using generic Pokeballs. It might be time to upgrade. Not so much I've been catching stuff. I haven't been. At least since it always comes out immediately. If I can't hit it again, I'll knock it out. Alakazam! Number 93, Imitation Pokemon. It stands along paths pretending to, pretending to be a tree. If it starts raining, it seems to disappear. Oh yeah, it's a rock type. I never use Sudowoodoo. Don't mind catching one, though. One step! One! Alakazam seems worried about being unable to battle well. Why? You're fine. You didn't have status effects or anything. This is worried about its performance in battle, though. What's here, exactly? Oh. Everyone calls me a ruin maniac. I don't care what they call me. I'll just keep on chipping away at the rock wall little by little. Do you know why? I'm a ruin maniac who is fascinated by the unknown. <clears throat> now it's a little sudden, but how about you and me have a race? You go and catch the unknown, and I'll keep digging away. We'll have a race so you can get done faster. The alphabet Pokemon you don't want me to get, huh? I don't think I have them in my in my uh, Pokemon Home Pokedex, but I did at one point have the entire alphabet plus all the punctuation for the unknown. You. Win or lose, who knows how this will go. I'm playing for keeps. You gambler. Yep. P.I. Alright, deal with the fish. Stravia. Keep it up, you two. Another Goldeen. What that egg catch is soon.
Ugh, so much walking around upstairs. So much stuff I gotta remove. I guess wrong too often. What? You do? You do have a Pokedex! Yes, I do. I couldn't continue with the game without one. Dr. Reedy! Goldine before, and not nothing but Pony to another Pony to triple Goldine, triple Pony to. It's not a good idea to have a bunch of the exact same Pokemon. It's generally a bad idea in the team. So envious of your Pokedex. Nope, then go get one. Oh, you want to teach me about something? Oh, you want to teach me something about Pokemon? Beauty Devon? Wormadam. Okay. Switch it all Kazam soon, running out of PP. It's all for confusion, anyway. Not like I don't have other moves. I do. Like this one! Wow, is that right? Oh, maybe it's left. Or what if it's up or down instead? All it's got to do is be a direction other than right. I'd like to start off yeah, for now. Right now, you're a psychic. So I better switch to Luxor. No, I use Gyarados. I slid the presence of a trainer for a while. It was you! Psychic Mitchell. Okay, Hunter. Is it really appropriate for a ghost to be intimidated? Cadabra now. At least you're using different things. Not just the same Pokemon over and over again. Three Goldeen, three Ponyta, three Mag uh, six Magic Harp. You're out of the way. Defeating you will be no easy matter. Yeah, exactly.
Anything here? Really not. Battle me. I walk around you for the grass, but now for the sake of my collection, I take on people I know I can't beat. That's what a collector does. Now, it's not that you know you can't beat me. It's just that I walk past you and you attack anyone who you see. Imagine if you don't have any Pokémon, someone just attacks you regardless. Look at the player do that, just stand in one place, let NPCs walk by, and attack them even if they don't have Pokémon. Just leave a trail of death behind you as you kill everyone you encounter because they dare not have Pokemon. You attack them instead of their Pokemon that they don't have. Rosalia done. Gyarados level up. Nice stat increases. Good for poison. Another Rosalia. Oh, I have a bird. I bought a bunch of full heals so I can kill the poison anytime I need to. I still have an antidote or two left over. I'm not sure. Either way, intimidate the plant. Well, I get poisoned again in the process. Go, Elikazam! You should boast more about the last attack. No. I see boasting is generally not such a good thing to begin with. Yeah, I... Let's use that. Now, what is this? Big root. Forgot what that does. Hey, a max potion. Not a full restore, but it's still useful. I'm still gonna go back to that tree that I put the honey on. Well, I can use fly now, so. I was waiting until I got fly. Now that I have fly, there's a bunch of other stuff I plan to do in between this video and the next one. Especially since I got a bunch of videos made in advance now. Why is there a gap here? Unless there's an item here, but there isn't an item here, so what's the point? Valor Lakefront. Double battle. Or not. I was blocking off the path. We've been asked to keep everyone out of the lake area. Reason? I'm not too sure, but apparently to protect the lake. Yeah, the three, uh, Lake Spirit Pokémon, right? What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my sweet key somewhere again. The hotel people won't be happy with me. I'm sure I had it on a little reception counter earlier. So I need to rock climb to get that item. So in the Star's restaurant. Oh, okay, the building. I did not expect that to happen. Oh, hello. You wish to stay the night? I'm afraid you're totally booked. You may rest a while if you wish. Oh, good. Go to a Pokemon Center. So tell us, Sir Romantic. I hope a night in a Pokemon will sweep me away from a honeymoon here. Well, there are a lot of po big Pokemon you can ride on. Including Ride On? 
That's right on, you're right on. Red shard. I stand stoically in front of the deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. Seaside suits you better than the sea. I do have to go to Pastoria City. It's down here, so let's keep going going. But these are tubers, I think they are, so... No, I didn't mean to do that. Up front, Luxray! <laughs> I can battle too! Yep, Duper Chelsea! Luxray shaking too, okay. Down with the beaver! I lost, and now I feel hungry. Hey, yeah, you're a kid, you're always hungry. <clears throat> Isn't this nice? I love my inner tube. What about your outer tube? You never hear about those, only inner ones. There's Shellos. Alright. Shellos. Were you water ground? I think Astrodon might have been. Like uh, Wooper and Quagsire. Was, was Wooper water ground? I know Quagsire is. Triple Shellos! Oh, at least it's the other color. I was hoping at least one would be the opposite color. Now, pop the kid's tube for daring to battle me. Are consequences for your actions. I couldn't move very well because my inner tube got in the way. You were just standing there. Your Pokemon did all the work. You didn't do anything. Sure, you can tell your Pokemon what to do, but nothing beyond that. There's a fancy hotel and a fancy place for the fancy restaurant. Fancy restaurants filled with fancy people who think of themselves as being too fancy to battle alone. Eh, watch out for the fanciness! Dr. Footsteps House. Footprints reveal all. Oh, I almost had that fish reeled in. So now I'm going to attack you for getting in my way when I was fishing. Not more Magikarp! What the heck was that pop-up that appeared on my screen? Seed. Yes, I think we're gonna make a drink use leech seed. I've always used leech seed. This leech seed sticks around. Yardos.
extra weak to electricity. Take down. No. I don't like moves with recoil. I'm a raid. Alright, now I'm throwing eels at me. Almost electrify everything. It's weird how that evolves into an octopus. You need to have more respect for a grown up. You need to not attack kids just because you talk to them. Oh, hey, Grottle is evolving! Maybe the Torterra! Number three, Torterra. Groups of this Pokemon migrating in search of water has been mistaken for moving forests. Well, they've got big trees on their shells. Earthquake! Oh, yes. You can learn Earthquake, all right. Yes, let's get rid of Tackle. It's something more useful. Makes sense that you can't learn Earthquake until you grow up. Oh, is this about footprints? Look from behind. Pokemon are quite easy for me to read. I need only to see their footprints and their innermost thoughts are revealed to me. Oh, you are skeptical of my claim? Then let your Luxray walk in front of me right here. From its footprints, I will determine how it feels about you. Some wild Pokemon frown upon others for traveling for the humans. They jeer that the caught Pokemon have forgotten the wild. That view is mistaken. They have just never met a trainer who could be a great partner. A great partner like Mila, in other words. That is what your Luxray thinks of you. Do you have evidence to back up your claim? Doesn't matter if it's nice sounding. What I care about is whether it's true. Yes, yeah, so, so Terra. Poor Terra. Eh, it's the same thing. I like to have proper evidence that what you claim is true. Not just because you say it is, but because it actually is. There's a big difference. Let me demonstrate the technique. That's how, gro how grown-up battles. The character I'm controlling may be a kid, but I'm not. Are you worried about being un unable to battle well? Here's your new move. Now, how does a literal earthquake only affect the Pokemon? You figure the trainer should be stumbling around. What's you attack? <sighs> Use the earthquake near the beach right here, cause a tsunami. Or do it near a building and what or in a building and have the building collapse. Here you lace. There's something on top of this big cliff here. My instincts tell me that, but how am I supposed to climb up? I don't have rock climb, so I can't do anything with it. Is there anything good here? Besides no more ponies, huh? Show us. Yeah, how am I supposed to pet a Torterra? Pet its shell, I suppose? I'm trying to weaken you and you use Recover? And how did it use Recover? Was it going to use Recover regardless? Why would it use Recover when it has full HP? 
Even though the AI can be kind of stupid in Pokemon sometimes. Like, uh, red and blue, you'd be fighting the final boss and he'll use moves like Roar and Whirlwind on you that did absolutely nothing in a trainer battle. Number 60, Shiloh. It's a sea slug Pokemon. It lives along bodies of water. Its body shape changed to suit its habitat. Yeah, it's called evolution. Proper evolution, not Pokemon style. Fight berries. What is it this time? I got berries. Roust berries. More roust berries. And then whatever that is. Yeah, papa berries. I need all this stuff if I bother with the contests. I want me to plant berries if I need to do if I'm gonna do the contests. Got a friend who offered to eat mass bread Phoebos, and he offered to give me one. But I'm gonna wait until I, I get, if I recall, to evolve a Phoebos into Milotic, you gotta make max out its beauty stat. So I gotta focus on, uh, I'm gonna wait until I can get the puffin case and start making, uh, start making puffins and such so I can do that. I'm visiting this area because I wanted to see the Great Marsh. I'm staying at Lakeside Hotel. Hey, Team Plasma. Grr, this is so- Team Plasma. Wrong game. I, I prefer Team Plasma over Team Galactic. This is so annoying. What is it? Oh, some kid with only three gym badges. List little twerps like you should know how to stay out of Team Galactic's way. Now this package reveals something. Where should I set it off? Yep, this is going to be a smashing job for Team Galactic. Well, I needed to come to Pastoria City. I'm here now. What's here? There's a gym, obviously. What about you? Pastoria's gym leader is, like, breathtaking in a weird way. It's hard to explain. You know what I mean, though. Crash your wake! Definitely want Luxray and Torterra here. Water types galore from this guy. I mean, the name is obvious. The tubers, sailors, fishermen. The gym leader, Wake, uh, I mean, Crasher Wake, is a master of water type Pokemon. I'd say you've got guts if you try to face down water types with fire or ground type Pokemon. Yeah, this is at a severe disadvantage in that way. Well, that part I'll leave up to you. Go ahead, have some good battles. Of course. I'm blocked off here, aren't I? Yes. I gotta raise the water, raise and lower the water level to get around, don't I? I think I recall that from the original. Well, every trainer on the way. My body isn't the only thing I work on toughening up here. I also work on my Pokemon and my spirit. Super Jackie. I don't think kissing your Pokeball before you throw it out helps. Especially when you're gonna Weasel facing down a Luxray. That is a few levels higher. Wow, trainer, you might, you might just be tougher than our gym leader. Oh, I'm sure I'm tougher than your gym leader. Forget, I've got two Pokemon types that can beat your gym leader. I have mastery over the incredible power of water. You won't win. What do you have? A barboach! 
Uh, I think Barbo. I know Whiskash is uh, ground. What is it? Barbo's ground type too? That was bite. Yeah, I saw Mud Slap coming. There's, of course, they anticipate you coming in with electric types, so they throw in defensive measures by using ground types. But the kid wins anyway, I'm just bowled over. It's like, uh, I can't remember what game it is. Where... It's the electric gym. And you... So you come with a ground type Pokemon, and then they use, and then the gym leader uses Emolga on you. Flying squirrels, they're flying electric types. Making ground useless. I've traveled all over the globe while raising Pokemon. This is the gym I've chosen. You'll find that a handful for sure. I like when they do stuff like that. Like, we know you're gonna use this particular type of Pokemon, so we're gonna throw out Pokemon to stop you from using it, because it doesn't work! Also, we're gonna switch to a Grass type, and we're like, oh, we're using Flying types! To counter your Grass type! So you gotta be prepared. Yep. Anticipate what your opponent's gonna have and bring counters to it. That is how you do things. You're planning on winning, anyway. You. You're kind of- you're kind of top class tough. I'm just a protagonist. I want to become a strong trainer like Crasher Wake. Super Caitlyn! Zural! I'm sending out babies now. Yeah, sending out baby Pokemon and you're a gym trainer? Not the best idea. Hey, at least you got Meryl, too. Now if you can throw that in a zoom roll, you'd have the whole set. There we go, Gyarados. Rain dance? Well... Yeah, that's your right tackle. The main time I use Rain Dance isn't for water moves, it's so I can use Thunder. You're too much. The one thing I'd love to do, of course, is, as everyone does, is teach Kyogre Thunder. Because it automatically Rain Dances when it comes in. I've landed the most fish Pokemon in the world. I'm next! This thunder, not the best accuracy, unless you get Rain Dance. That's why when I was uh, doing, like, uh, Stadium 1 and Stadium 2, those old games back on the N64, my Jolteon would have both Thunderbolt and Thunder. That way I could pick whether I wanted power or accuracy. Looks like I think my Flareon had uh, Fire Blast and Flamethrower.
At least I think it did. I knew it had Body Slam, because Flareon's a physical powerhouse. Or at least it was back then, I don't know about now. I don't think Gyarados needs to just use Scary Face if its face is scary by default. I don't think Gyarados does not go down to one hit. Oh well. Being number one in the world doesn't mean a thing. You're right, it doesn't. This means you've spent more time doing a particular thing. That doesn't mean much. Oh, well, that was a bad idea. I also want to go to here. It's a raging sea. I crash down and wash away everything before me. That's just how I roll. You could at least made a pun about it. That's just how I roll out. I like Animal Crossing. I have a pun for everything. Stop worrying, Luxray. You can handle things. I suppose Thunder Shock isn't strong enough. I need something better. I need Thunder Bolt. Oh, you spark. I think you might need it to rain, just being in the water should power up the water types. More for Luxray. Hey, Volt Switch. Yeah, I'll swap out Thunder Shock. Of course, I'll swap Pokemon every time I use Volt Switch, so that's gonna be weird, but. That wave didn't even wash my hands. Making it rain indoors isn't the best idea either, you know. Yeah, let's take me right to the gym later, that's fine. The water rising and falling is tricky, but don't let it annoy you. If you lose sight of yourself, that's when you're set to lose. Yeah, I'll just go straight for the gym later now. Welcome! I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crusher Awake. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours! Come on, let's get it done! All right, fourth gym leader. Gym leader wake.
Looks like he's being a wrestler, so he should run over, uh, pin his opponent into the ground, and stop them, put them, put them in a submission move, and stop them from being able to give commands to their Pokemon. Or just have them give up that way. Oh wait, ah, shoot. It's Quagsire. It's ground type. Can I Volt Switch? Will that work? I was hoping I could still swap Pokemon. Apparently not. I didn't mean to not switch. Grab the other trainer, threaten to suplex him unless I throw the battle. Or just some kind of submission hold or some kind of wrestling move on the trainer. Hey, that there, that was a good move! Is this Razor Leaf? Go through all Bweasel's evolution. Won't do you much good. Oh! Okay, maybe it will. Ow. Ice Fang. Yep, still one hit. Nice move, though, having Ice Fang. I approve. Psychic! Finally! Psychic! Like it is objectively better than confusion. It's one of confused things. I'll use confuse ray instead. Ha! <laughs> it's gone and ended. How will I see this? I want more. I want it to battle a lot more. It seems the undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. Badge number four. A Fen Badge. You need that Fen Badge to use a hidden move Defog for your Pokétech. These are a special reward from me in recognition of your team's power. Of course, stickers. DM55s. Brine. It inflicts double the damage on targets with less than half their HP left. Use it to end battles decisively. Alright, that takes care of you. It's half the gems. Well then, of course, there's still Team Galactic to deal with. Wait, what am I doing? So I was doing something stupid, of course. As I always do. That will be the end of this episode. If you like what I'm doing and you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.